Hi! Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Echo here and for today's video, we will be talking about how to start with your digital art and art guide for beginners. So before we proceed with the video, let me just share first my experience when it comes to digital art. Um, based on my observation, mostly digital artists actually start with using their fingers to draw. Me, myself, I also started from that way. I also started using my fingers in digital art and I know it is difficult and the struggle is real. That's why in this video, we will be talking about some ideas and topics and the things that we need to know when it comes to digital art for beginners. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit the notification bell para lagi kayo updated sa mga art videos ko. This video is actually divided into three topics and first, we will be talking about what are the necessary equipments that we need to use for digital art. So in this part, I will be sharing with you some tablets or the tablets that we need to use for our digital art process. For the second, we will be talking about the softwares or applications that we need to use for digital art. And last, and the third one, we will be talking about the drawing process. I will be sharing with you some ideas and the basic ideas or basic tips when it comes to digital art. Let us now proceed to the equipments. So when it comes to equipments in digital art, there are a lot of options. We have different kind of tablets and I will share it with you. What are those tablets? And these tablets are actually, we have the pen tablet and the pen display tablet. And by the way guys, I highly suggest if you're into digital art and you really want to go for digital art, um, I highly suggest and recommend to save up money for a tablet because when you buy a tablet, this tablet will be your ally, your weapon, your friend, and um, you will always need this tablet. And this tablet would a will actually help you for your drawing process. So I highly suggest saving up money for you to buy your own tablet so you can have your very own friend. Let us first talk about the pen tablets. So pen tablets are actually tablets that has a drawing surface but it does not come with a screen it meaning to say you can draw on its surface but you need to look on your monitor or your laptop or your computer there are a lot of tablets out there you can actually choose from different brands and if you have the money or if you have the budget to buy an expensive tablet you can go for wacom but if you're looking for an affordable tablet i really recommend vape pen I actually have two tablets from Bake. I got the smaller version which is the Bake BK640 pen tablet that supports stilt function. What I like about this tablet is it, it does not consume most of my space meaning to say with its with its small size it does not consume most of my space in my working area. The thing I like about this tablet is the pen. It has a smooth texture and I love it and I love using it. It's really nice for me to draw. It also comes with two years warranty and that's a friendly product. If you're looking for a more bigger tablet or a bigger size tablet, the Vake A50 is the tablet for you. I really love this tablet. It has nice features and I really love how many functions it can do. It has 8 shortcut keys and also I love the touch bar. The touch bar is my most favorite features of the Vake A50. It's really convenient and helpful for my drawing process. And I've been using the Vake A50 for almost one year now and, I and the tablet still works pretty good and I still didn't encounter any problems with it it was amazing it was worth it and if you're interested on watching my unboxing videos I'll be putting the link below so you can get the chance to know more about the product and also know my review when it comes to the product let us now move on to a more upgraded version of tablets and that tablet is the pen display tablet or the display tablet now what's the difference between the pen uh, pen tablet and the pen display tablet Pen display tablets are actually tablets that also comes with a drawing surface but this time it comes with a monitor or a screen. But of course, you will still need your laptop or PC to make the tablet function. Let us know what are the important things that we need to know when it comes to buying pen display tablets. So first, let us talk about the size. There are a lot of different sizes out there in the market with different size of tablets. You could have the bigger ones, the smaller ones, or even the medium ones. And it is important to find the right size for you or the perfect size for you in your working area or what is most likely comfortable for you to draw. As for me, I'm using my big BK1200 which is actually not that big and not that small but it suits well on my working area. 
Second is the colors. We need to understand what is what are the colors being produced by the tablet. We need to make sure that the tablet being the colors being produced by the tablet are high quality because we are doing digital art paintings, we are creating an artwork, we are making some masterpiece that we play with colors. So we need to understand or we need to make sure that the tablet that we're going to buy has a high quality color resolution. Third is the screen. So we need to know what kind of display or screen that we're going to buy. If it's if it is the IPS display or the usual display that we have in the market. And the better the display or screen, the better the tablet. And we need to make sure if the tablet is full laminated or not. And actually, full laminated displays or screen are very helpful for visual gaps. And last, my favorite part, the pressure level of the pen and tilt function. So when it comes to um, buying a tablet, we there are actually different pressure sensitivity of the pen or different pressure level of the pen. The higher the pressure level, the better because it gives you a lot of functions and a lot of and really helpful for your drawing process. And as for the tilt function, make sure to make sure that the tablet that you're going to buy. Um, support tilt function because it will be helpful for your brushes, for your digital art journey, and for your digital art process. And if you're looking for a more affordable pen display tablet, I really do recommend the Vake VK1200. And as I mentioned earlier, um, the tablet is not that big and it's not that small. It suits well or it's perfect for my working area. And it is not the best, but I find it great and worth it because of its affordable price. And because of the Vake VK1200, I was able to draw everything I want. I get the chance to um, create what I have in mind and fulfill my imagination. And also, it, I get the chance to have a way more easier experience when it comes to digital art practice and when it comes to my digital art journey. Let us now move on to the next part, which we're going to talk about the softwares or the applications that we can use for digital art. And I won't be giving a lot of details when it comes to different softwares. I will be focusing more on the software or the application that I often use. There are actually a lot of free drawing softwares out there. We have the Medibank Pro, the Autodesk Sketchbook, and of course my favorite, Krita. When it comes to drawing softwares or applications, we need to know its features. If this software can handle multiple layers or it consists of different brushes and also it comes with different tools that is, real, that is helpful for the drawing process and also when it comes to the canvas, the pixels, the quality and many more. We need to understand this kind of things because these softwares are help us for our drawing journey or our digital art journey. If we experience a better software or an application, we also experience a great growing process. We also get the chance to practice better. We also get the chance to draw better. Again, guys, I will be just giving you some basic ideas about digital art. So um, these are actually just simple ideas or the things that you need to know when it comes to digital art. So let's go. First are the brushes. In traditional art, we buy every equipment. It means we buy every single brushes that we need to use. We need to buy this kind of brush, we need to buy this kind of brush, we need to buy this kind of brush, and many more. And as for digital art, it's way more different. In digital art, we only download some brushes and then we already have the set of brushes. And as for digital art, we can actually get the chance to customize brushes so we can change its settings, we can change its texture, its size, its shapes, and many more. Next, this is very important not just in digital art but in different kind of drawings. This is layering or layers. When it comes to digital art, now these layers are actually helpful for your drawing process or in digital art because you get the chance to draw on different layers. You can um, delete, a, delete a layer, you can um, erase on a particular layer, and you can also get the chance to um, draw on a particular layer without affecting the other layers or without affecting the other parts of the drawing. So this is actually very helpful and the one art tip guys, make sure if you're going to start to draw, you're in the right layers to avoid mistakes and also to avoid um, affecting your other parts of your drawing. 
Next is the selection tool. This is one of my favorite features when it comes to digital art because selection tool from the word itself select, you can actually uh, draw on a specific um, selection or you can draw on a specific area. I use this often when it comes to shading and also um, selection tool is very important when it comes to to avoid affecting the other parts of the drawing, to avoid um, drawing on the other parts. So make sure to practice and learn more about selection tool because I'm this is really helpful for your drawing process. And last, the transform tool. This is actually helpful as well. You can get the chance to change the size, form, the shape, the appearance of your work. I often use this for changing the size of my artwork if I needed to make it small, if I needed to make it big, or if I need to adjust it. So transform tool is the tool that you need for that kind of matter. And it is also important because um, it's also an advantage because in digital art, you can actually get the chance to change the form or change the look of your work with the help of these tools. That's it for today's video, guys. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you get the chance to learn and get an idea about starting with digital art. And I hope this video can somehow help with your um, digital art journey or your drawing process. And I also hope that I can get the chance to see your work in the future. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit the notification bell para lagi kayo updated sa mga art videos ko. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. See you on my next video. Bye!